Pheochromocytoma is a tumor that arises from chromaffin cells, which are located in the adrenal medulla and sympathetic ganglia. Chromaffin cells produce and secrete catecholamines, including adrenaline, epinephrine, and noradrenaline, norepinephrine, which are hormones that play a key role in regulating the body's response to stress. In pheochromocytoma, chromaffin cells grow and divide uncontrollably, leading to the formation of a tumor. The tumor can produce large amounts of catecholamines, which can cause a variety of symptoms, such as high blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, sweating, and anxiety. The pathophysiology of pheochromocytoma involves the dysregulation of the sympathetic nervous system, which controls the body's fight or flight response. Normally, the sympathetic nervous system responds to stress by releasing catecholamines, which activate adrenergic receptors in various organs and tissues. This response increases blood pressure, heart rate, and metabolic rate, among other things. In pheochromocytoma, the overproduction of catecholamines leads to excessive stimulation of adrenergic receptors throughout the body, resulting in the characteristic symptoms of the disease. The elevated levels of catecholamines can also damage blood vessels, leading to complications such as heart attack, stroke, or kidney damage. Pheochromocytoma can be associated with genetic mutations, such as those found in von Hippel-Lindau disease or multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, which can disrupt the normal regulation of chromaffin cell growth and catecholamine production. Overall, the pathophysiology of pheochromocytoma involves the dysregulation of the sympathetic nervous system and the excessive production of catecholamines, which can cause a range of symptoms and complications. Pheochromocytoma is a rare tumor that produces excessive amounts of catecholamines, such as adrenaline, epinephrine, and noradrenaline, norepinephrine. The symptoms of pheochromocytoma can be variable and often occur in episodes, depending on the level and duration of catecholamine secretion. Some common symptoms of pheochromocytoma include high blood pressure, hypertension. This is the most common symptom of pheochromocytoma, affecting about 90% of cases. Blood pressure can be severely elevated and may be associated with headaches, sweating, and flushing. Rapid heartbeat, tachycardia, this is also a common symptom of pheochromocytoma, and may be accompanied by palpitations, chest pain, or shortness of breath. Sweating, excessive sweating, particularly during episodes of high blood pressure, is a common symptom of pheochromocytoma. Anxiety or panic attacks, pheochromocytoma can cause feelings of anxiety, panic, or apprehension, and may be associated with tremors or shaking. Headaches. Headaches are a common symptom of pheochromocytoma and may be severe or recurrent. Weight loss. Unintentional weight loss may occur in some cases of pheochromocytoma due to the effects of catecholamines on metabolism. Fatigue. Chronic fatigue or weakness may occur in some cases of pheochromocytoma due to the effects of catecholamines on energy metabolism. Other symptoms, other less common symptoms of pheochromocytoma include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, and vision changes. The diagnosis of pheochromocytoma typically involves a combination of medical history, physical examination, and laboratory and imaging tests. Here are some of the common diagnostic methods used for pheochromocytoma. Medical history and physical exam. Your doctor will review your medical history and perform a physical exam to look for signs and symptoms of pheochromocytoma, such as high blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, sweating, and anxiety. Blood and urine tests. Blood and urine tests are used to measure levels of catecholamines and their breakdown products, such as metanephrines and vanillyl mandelic acid, VMA. Elevated levels of these substances can suggest the presence of a pheochromocytoma. Imaging tests. Imaging tests, such as CT scan or MRI, can be used to visualize the adrenal gland and look for the presence of a tumor. These tests can also help determine the size and location of the tumor. Functional imaging. Functional imaging tests, such as methiodobenzylguanidine, MIBG, scan or positron emission tomography, PET, scan, can be used to identify the location of the tumor and evaluate its metabolic activity. Genetic testing. In some cases, 
genetic testing may be recommended to look for mutations in genes associated with pheochromocytoma, such as von Hippel-Lindau disease or multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2. If pheochromocytoma is suspected, it is important to seek medical attention promptly to avoid potential complications, such as hypertensive crisis or cardiovascular events. Treatment typically involves surgical removal of the tumor, along with medications to control blood pressure and other symptoms. The treatment of pheochromocytoma typically involves surgical removal of the tumor, which is the only curative therapy. Before surgery, however, patients may need medical therapy to stabilize their blood pressure and other symptoms. Medical therapy, alpha and beta blockers are commonly used to control blood pressure and other symptoms before surgery. Alpha blockers block the effects of catecholamines on blood vessels, while beta blockers reduce the effects of catecholamines on the heart. Other medications, such as calcium channel blockers or angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors ACE inhibitors, may also be used to control blood pressure. Surgical therapy. Once the patient is medically stabilized, surgery is the primary treatment for pheochromocytoma. The type of surgery performed depends on the size and location of the tumor, and may involve removal of the adrenal gland, adrenalectomy, or removal of the tumor only, tumor resection. Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is rarely used for pheochromocytoma, but may be considered for tumors that cannot be removed surgically or that have spread to other parts of the body. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is rarely effective for pheochromocytoma and is usually reserved for tumors that have spread to other parts of the body and cannot be removed surgically. It is important to note that pheochromocytoma requires careful management and follow-up, even after successful surgical removal of the tumor. Patients may need ongoing monitoring of blood pressure and other symptoms, as well as regular imaging tests to look for signs of recurrence or metastasis.